What's happening? In this video, I'm going to talk about creatine. I'm going to do my best to explain to you what it is, how it works, and hopefully you'll be able to decide if it's something that you can benefit from. At the end of the video, I'm also going to show you my eight-week transformation before and after creatine, so you can get an idea of the sort of results I have from taking it. Before I start talking about creatine, I just want to point out that your training and nutrition is always the most important thing. Like, you can't just expect to take a few scoops of creatine and then turn into the Incredible Hulk. Supplements and stuff like that can be beneficial, but they're useless without proper training and nutrition. Right, so what is creatine? It's important to point out first that it's not a steroid. It's something that's produced naturally in your body at a rate of about one gram a day. You can also get creatine from foods such as fish, red meat, and chicken. But most people don't get enough creatine in their diet alone, so that's why they supplement it. In order to understand what supplementing creatine does, it's important to first understand the process of your muscles getting energy and stuff. So I'm gonna try my best to explain that to you in the most simple way possible, but I'm also gonna sum it up in an even simpler way if it doesn't make sense, you know what I mean, right? So basically, say when you lift weights or sprint or do anything that requires a short burst of energy, your muscles use something called ATP. But when they use ATP, like say when you do a few lifts or something or a fucking a bench press or something like that, you use up all your ATP in a matter of seconds, right? So creatine phosphate comes in and restores the ATP in order to give you more energy. So by supplementing creatine, you increase your stores of creatine phosphate so you're able to give your muscles more energy to perform. So to sum all of that mumble up, when you take creatine, you increase your stores of creatine phosphate so you can basically do more reps before you run out of energy. As well as providing your muscles with more energy, when you start to supplement creatine, your body's water retention rate increases and all this extra water weight is actually held in your muscles and only your muscles. So you'll actually look like, you'll basically look jacked when you start taking creatine. But since your body's holding on to all this extra water weight, you also need to be drinking sufficient amounts of water. I would recommend drinking at least two to three liters of water a day if you're supplementing creatine. Now, when you first start taking creatine, some people say that you need to do a loading phase. This basically means that you take 20 grams a day for like five days or something, and then drop it down to five grams a day. But the studies show that this loading phase just saturates your muscles quicker, but it actually doesn't make a difference in the long run. So in my opinion, just take five grams a day from the start and you'll have the same results as anyone, whether you do a loading phase or not. So is there any drawbacks with taking creatine? Well, the only notable drawback is the weight gain, but this weight gain, as mentioned before, is actually water weight in your muscles. So in my opinion, it's actually a positive. Some people also say that they experience hair loss when they start taking creatine, but there's no studies currently that directly correlate the two but it actually could be true. Like if you start taking creatine and then your hair starts falling out faster, I would probably stop taking creatine. And then if your hair loss stops, then it probably was creatine. But basically just because there's no studies doesn't mean that it's not a thing, but currently it's not correlated between the two. So now that I've explained to you what creatine is and all that stuff, I just want to go off the bat and tell you my personal experience with it. So I started taking it about eight weeks ago. And since I've started taking it, I've noticed that I have more energy when I'm doing like sets and stuff and my recovery has increased. I also look fuller and better, but I don't think that this is all down to just creatine. It's good training and nutrition as well, but I definitely think that since I've started taking creatine, it has had a positive impact on my training. So that's just my personal opinion. So in order to give you an idea of the sort of results I have had from using creatine, here's some footage of me before creatine use and here's me after eight weeks of using creatine with good nutrition and good training, might I add. And then here's some footage again of me before creatine use, just doing some bicep curls. And here is some footage in three, two, one of me after creatine use. Now, in my opinion, I'm looking fuller, I'm better, more muscular, but uh, you, can, you can be the judge of that yourself and let me know what you think. Now, before taking any supplement, you should always do your homework on it. But it's important to note that creatine is one of the most researched supplements out there and there's absolutely no evidence to state that it is harmful for human consumption in the long run or the short run or the middle run or any sorts of runs. So yeah, it's basically good gear. If you are thinking about going ahead and starting to take creatine, you might notice that when you go online, there's loads of different options. Creatine monohydrate is the only form of creatine that you should be taking. There's lots of different forms with different claims, but all the research is done on creatine monohydrate. So in my opinion, that's the only one that you should be taking. So to sum the whole video up, I think that creatine is an excellent supplement when taken in conjunction with good nutrition and training. But you shouldn't expect to take creatine and it to work magical wonders without putting in the work yourself. So creatine can help you, but you need to help yourself too, if you know what I mean. 
Cheers for watching. If you find the information in this video useful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And if you find the information in this video not useful, uh, comment and call me a prick or something. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll put it here. Instagram's where I post all my shorter videos and stuff like that. So yeah, do that. See you in the next video.